All right, guys, back with yet another Yankee PC video. Today I'm going with Tino Martinez. He won championships with the Yankees in 96, 98, 99, and 2000. Overall in his career, had a pretty good career with multiple teams wound up with over 300 home runs, over 1,200 RBIs. Should have won a gold glove in my opinion, but never did. But anyway, here we start with his 1988 Topps Traded Rookie and some of his Seattle Mariners cards 89 Bowman that's the Tiffany the kind of glossy version here's an error minor league card it says Edgar Martinez but obviously that's Tino right there since they came up through the Mariners minor league system together I guess that's how they made that mistake here's a nice 92 Bowman gold border A 90 upper deck, 91 Bowman, a nice 93 studio. I didn't realize I pulled out so many of his Mariners cards, but here's a Team 2000 insert. A 95 SP silver parallel, and now the, the Yankee cards. A sport flicks. He got traded to the Yankees prior to the 1996 season along with Jeff Nelson and another reliever. The Yankees sent a young player by the name of Russ Davis and a pitcher by the name of Sterling Hitchcock. So the Yankees turned out to do pretty well in that trade. And Tino struggled at first when he came to the Yankees. He had some big shoes to fill. He had to take over first base for Don Mattingly. Mattingly had been there for a long time, was a huge fan favorite here in New York. So Tino, it took him like, I'd say over a month to hit his first home run as a Yankee. He's a nice pinnacle aficionado. I saw recently that Panini put out a basketball set with that same design. So pretty cool, wouldn't mind getting some of those. So yeah, Tino struggled at first. Took him a while to get going, but wound up having a pretty decent first season with them. But then struggled big time in the playoffs. So there were still some doubts about him heading into the following season. There's a 97 Bowman's Best Refractor. But then in 97, he had a huge season, hit 44 home runs, well over 100 RBIs. I think he was second in the MVP voting. But then struggled in the playoffs yet again. So that was kind of becoming the book on him a little bit. People were saying he wasn't really clutch. Here's a nice Pacific card. Don't remember exactly what this set is called, but they were pretty cool. Kind of a see-through window there. So yeah, he struggled in the 97 playoffs again. Then in 98, had another pretty solid regular season and was struggling in the playoffs yet again until the World Series that year where he hit a, a big grand slam. Actually, I think I have a card about that moment somewhere in here. Might as well show that one next. And here it is. So it was game one of the 98 World Series. Yankees were trailing and Tino hit a big grand slam, I think, in the seventh or eighth inning. And it seemed like that kind of got that monkey off his back because he wound up getting many more clutch hits for the Yankees over the years. Sometimes all it takes is that one big hit to get you going. It's a cool tops laser right there. A 2000 Bowman Chrome Refractor. So he wound up having some really good years with the Yankees, left after the 2001 season, and then came back, I think, either in 05 or 06. Nice Pinnacle Summit parallel. And some Flare Showcase. Always love Flare Showcase. That's a 98, row 2. And some Legacy cards. These used to be a pretty big deal. They were numbered to 100, which now seems like a lot, but back then if you got a superstar player from this subset, you could sell it for pretty good money. I think some of them still go pretty decent money. So that one was a Row 1 Legacy. This one's a Row 0 Legacy. Again, out of 100. Another nice Pinnacle insert. 
upper deck amazing greats insert here's just a regular 99 gold label a Pacific Omega numbered to 55 and this is pretty cool from EX 2001 cheap seat treats kind of a seat design there and then you open it up and there's the player just some of the unique stuff they used to do back then another pretty cool insert from back then Stadium Club Triumvirate some of these still go for pretty decent money here's an ultra gold I just like that one cuz because of the way they captured his swing there when he was going good he had one of the sweetest left-handed swings I ever saw and here's one from 2002 when he signed with the Cardinals and then went on to play with the Rays and like I said came back to the Yankees for like a year before he retired and here's my only autograph of him a co-signers with Roberto Alomar really love that card has two of my favorite players on it and so that's gonna be it for Tino I might do some more of these individual player videos so thank you guys for watching see you all in the next one